What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the final episode of The Climb for Season 4 of Summit Esports. Brissy and Venom joining me this week to wrap it up. Um, how you guys doing? I'm doing great. That's I, good. <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Uh, Brissy. I am, I'm, fl- yeah. I'm fantastic. I'm top of the world. Top of the world. Uh, well, good to, good to be on The Climb after... Winning a championship, man. We did it. He he is filled with uh 
a new drive. He is going to be the new top dog in Summit next season. So just be scared for season five. So, but fuck me up too much, dude. Hey, I listen. I'm expecting you to get drafted first round. I would not be surprised. So, um, but let us do the climb, and then don't worry, we'll get to the paper plate awards. So stay tuned. But first, let's talk about a uh, third place match and finals. Just starting off with a third place match. Um, the two teams could not decide on a time that would work for them. So AK and Dog um, uh, just got third and fourth. That's pretty much it. I think if this game did go, though, it, I think it'd actually be a very competitive match. Um, but we'll never know. So, um, And let's go into finals. And I'll start off, all right? If you told me ganking Private Ryan was going to beat Cyber Bullies, I would have never believed you, okay? But gosh darn it, Brissy, PPP, never saw, Ryan, and uh, Bossler, Jerboas, they proved me wrong. That's... Pretty much I, throughout I, the entirety of playoffs. I mean, you, you yeah, thought the, yeah, same, they, thought you the same case for round two, round three, and final, so... So I I really don't have a rebuttal, um, but let's cover the games. So starting off with game one, uh, never saw Smolder getting the Smolder pick was not expecting it to just absolutely pop off. Um, CB looking very out of practice, honestly. Um, I think the Vi pick is fine. I think like uh, every champion is like good in like their hands. I think they just weren't playing to their best of their ability in this um, game. Uh, Ganky Private Ryan had an excellent draft, cha- banning out champions that are really uh, would do really bad into this comp. Uh, and PvP, I I will clap to that performance. Was like, I don't know, can't remember what he ended the game on, but it was like a lot of kills and one death. And yeah, I think PvP honestly pl- stepped up this game. So I don't really have anything else on this one. So I'm going to send it over to Venom first, and then we'll hear it from Brissy. Yeah, the two believers on the climb, myself and Brissy, we knew what was happening. <laughs> we knew it. Um, yeah, this game, um, I'll be honest, you should not be getting clapped up like that in the bot lane against Yumi Zaya level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like you <laughs> like they, they, they bounce Luton and so they, they know they had a bad game one, so I'm not gonna like harp on it, but they had a very bad game one. Like I think Noah and Jerboas or Vossler, they I think they like double killed them or got at least one or two kills like three or four different times, like pre level like eight, or, like pre ten minutes. Um, so they started off very shaky. Uh, Brissy held it down top lane against the Jace. Uh, kind of just farmed, and as you can see from the damage, didn't need yeah. to do damage. How did you how fighting. how did you get out damaged by Leona? <laughs> oh man, yeah, it was. I mean, game one was tough. I mean, we we went into game one knowing, kind of having a pretty good idea as to what their game plan was going to be. Uh, and that was to just push as many advantages top lane to get Burz ahead as they wanted. And, I mean, to mm-hmm. be honest, I mean, it wasn't pretty, but the amount of attention that we drew to the top lane had taken up so much of both two easies and Gator's time, which kind of just freed up both PPP and Jerboas to do their thing bot lane. And mm-hmm. uh, huge shout out to PPP. It did not look like him on Zaya. No offense. Uh, <laughs> but he did. He hooked so hard. And I mean that on top of just the smolder scaling, um, that that the bot lane I mean, won us won us that game for sure. You literally just look at this gold graph, and it's just like it's back and forth, and then like you know eight to twelve minutes. I mean, you guys were pretty strong, and then you know, uh, cyber bullies get that really big team fight, and then it's just back and forth again. And then once that twenty four minute hit, it was when smolder got execution, and it just went. Whoo! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll I'll be honest. I don't. As much as it like looks like it was swinging like back and forth, it kind of felt like GPR was in control. Almost oh, like sure. not the not the entire game, but like once it hit like twenty minutes, it was it kind of just felt like 
okay, CB's bleeding. Like, they're, since they're all very good players, um, they know how to farm from behind. They know how to, like, get resources while losing lanes mm -hmm. uh, or mm -hmm. while not ahead. But, like, it just felt like they were, they like, it was, like, it was a matter of time. It's, like, you're playing against Smolder. Smolder's a, like, Smolder was kind of free farming at some point. And then it's, like, okay, mm -hmm. Smolder has XQ. Ryan's counter ganking pretty much everywhere that Gator was going. And then it's, like, okay, late game Smolder. Uh, plus Zaya's ahead. Plus you have a tank, Tom Kench. Against Jace, against, like, Jace Vicendra. Uh, Zeri was behind. It was just kind of like, like I said, uh, Soap and Loot didn't have a great game one. It yeah, was, and Soap was not much you can do. That he typically doesn't miss. Like he was missing ults that I was like, okay, I've seen Soap this season not miss those. Like he needs to hit that, or they're gonna get smoked. Right. Uh, and honestly, I think it was just really bad performance by. You know, maybe it was just like nerves or something like that, you know, or maybe like I said at the beginning, like maybe they're just out of practice and haven't been playing games together. But I mean, you can't really expect every game to go the way of cyber bullies. And, you know, that's my fault because like I lost are, are, a lot of predictions. Are you trying to defend cyber bullies when they got three <laughs> one? Like, like are you, I'm not like, trying are you to defend them. Are you trying to be a CB apologist? You know, we can't win them all, guys. Like, <laughs> All right, all right, fine, we fine. Well, let's move on. Let's move on uh, to game number two. And I'll just talk about how shit cyber bullies are because um, never saw on the Silas, holy shit, outclassed mid too easy in this one. Uh, the level three play, I if you, that was a crazy play by uh never saw to flash uh into tower more and meant too easy just not predicting it and just kind of getting outplayed ryan picking up this kill and ryan had a fantastic game in this one um was just in the right place almost every time um cyber forcing forcing a lot of plays when they don't need to and i think that's why this game kind of just ended so poorly for the side of cyber blues they literally only have three kills <laughs> um mm -hmm. bot, bot lane for cyber bullies playing better you are just in a farming lane um <clears throat> pvp bosser once again just holding it down the bot lane didn't really do a whole lot until like the mid game i mean they're just wave clearing waves and then walking back so they're just never a look um i think ot gator just sitting top the whole time to get this Nasus fed was a very blatant um, fumble. Brissy, though, um, you had an amazing game on the Poppy. I mean, you. just solo killing. It, it almost felt like you were just going to solo kill this guy almost every time. You only got one this game, but I thought, like, man, if he really wanted to, you could just kill him every, whenever he wants. I mean, it was a very, it was a very similar situation to game one except i was on a champion i was much more comfortable on uh i knew the matchup quite a bit better obviously tom kench into jace is not easy at all uh mm -hmm. but obviously i uh switched hey, you up weren't runes first timing little... it at least yeah exactly i mean <laughs> switched up runes a little bit just to kind of counteract what i knew that they were again trying to do just try to push as many advantages top lane as they had uh and yeah the the 2v1 dive was a bit of a blunder on their part um but i mean huge shout out to ryan in both game one and game two on the nocturne because like his map movement and just his ability to be there when those situations happened was massive um so yeah it's it, it was it was a really fun game uh especially on a champ that i really enjoy nice yeah and i think that's it all i got for oh and then i don't know why you guys got away with so many illegal plays. The biggest one I can think of is Ryan literally ulting mid past Loon and Soap mm -hmm. to kill uh, uh, mid too easy in the mid lane. Yep. And he just walked, Ryan just kind of like walked past them. It was like, hmm, I'm whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, just you guys just took Baron and pretty much ended the game. We have a we have a Silas that's ten and one. It's like yeah, yeah. It was like like what 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 are at you that really point in the do? game? At that point in the game, even even Ryan was just really 
really strong, so I don't think he didn't really have too much worry. I'm pretty sure they had burn cooldowns in the attempt to, you know, contest Baron, but or <laughs> just com- contest River in general. But it just didn't didn't work out. And props to them for <clears throat> limit testing a little bit and and uh, and pushing that to get get those extra that extra kill. I will say Ryan played really well counter ganking. Um... Counter ganking Gator on almost every top and like mid play. Yeah, man. Like, I think Ryan, Ryan isn't just a good league player. He's a good jungler. I'll, I'll he deserves <laughs> that title now. <laughs> yeah, like he, he was almost there for like. Obviously, there's the one v two fumble that Gator and Briz had. I think it was this game. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it, bad, but but literally, like, like as soon as Ryan was there. Yeah, as soon as Gator had died. Uh, I mean, we and we we're in communication that whole time, like. Him leaving base, he's like, all right, he's taking my top side. I'm coming up right now. He's going to be there. And literally as soon as he said that, Gator pops out a, a tri brush. Um, <laughs> they fail the gank. And then once Briz is just, you know, still right on tower, he's like, go ahead, bait the bait the wither. And then that's that's when the ult happened. So it's just, I mean, he's really good shot caller when it comes to that kind of stuff. It uh, worked out in our favor. Shout out Bossler. Bossler is Seraphine. That shit goes hard. His Yumi, his Seraphine. His Seraphine. Yeah, really good old. His Seraphine went really well. He had good, I think, that he had like a good dragon. Well, I know. I just, about like 20 seconds ago. But he had like a really good dragon fight where he picked, like he hit both their bot, he like double stunned their bot lane, then got a double ulti on their bot lane and pretty much won the fight. Uh, so Vossler played him and PPP, did what they had to. Okay, never saw his seven and one or seven and zero. Oh. Like, okay, I'm playing Civ or Seraphine. I'm just gonna wave clear, and then show up to fights. Let never saw do everything and kind of just supplement damage where it needs to be. Sure. And yeah, let's go on to game number three. Oh, this is X Ray's favorite game. All right, this is this is my favorite <laughs> game, guys. All right. All right, CB is back. Let's go. Uh, really interesting, uh, though. Mid too easy and Briz swap. Now I remember at the beginning of the season, Mid too easy um, told Briz, "Hey, we can we'll we can swap uh, lanes in games." The whole season they don't do it once, and it, it's it's the game of their whole season on the line, and they finally swap lanes. And what happened? They won. They won the game. Um, CB bot lane finally winning some 2v2s. Um, Loon and uh, Soap, I'll be honest. I honestly wanted to give uh, Soap, Soap's Thresh, an MVP of this game. Oh, because don't of... self. Oh, I thought you were going to say Siri. Sorry, I was about to... I was about no, to no, 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 no. Not I the was Siri. Like, Soap was, was like, playing that, absolute was like, garbage the first two games. Okay, I was like, that's dis... I was like, that's disrespectful to. Dude, I literally GPR have the finals MVP that. in the notes. All right. I Gosh. know, but I thought you were gonna say some real wild stuff. I, I thought you were gonna glaze <laughs> off. I was like, I'm no, sorry. no, 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 no. Um, no, but um, I think Soap had a fantastic game. Like hitting go incredible hooks. Um, her his lanterns were crazy flays. Um, and gank flays. Sorry, I, I said what flays. <laughs> Sorry, continue. I, uh, I have a lot then, to uh, say about his thresh. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot we had the thresh enthusiast on this one. Uh, and then ganking Private Ryan. I don't know. I, maybe they were just a little too overconfident or something like that after what, going up two games. Um, I will say PPP's Ezreal was not the best, but I mean, he still did fairly well. So, um, never saw though. Gosh, cannot. Uh, I, I don't know what she has in the mornings for breakfast, but man, she is just a, a demon on the sticks. Mm-hmm. Um, before we hear from Venom and his comments on Thresh, let's hear from Brissy. Uh, yeah, I hated this game. Uh, it <laughs> sucked. Uh, they had to take Briz out of the top lane because he just wasn't pushing his advantages enough. Um, and mid too easy tore me up, man. Uh, I was messaging with him after this or after the series and I was telling him, um, yeah, it's uh, Gwen's my kryptonite. I can't stand that champion. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do in any situation against the champion. I, I, I hate it. Um, 
And he made me pay for it. Made the whole team pay for it. And uh, that is why Gwen was banned out for game four. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. I hard grief. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. It's a tough one, dude. <laughs> all right. All right, Venom. Let's let's uh, hear it. Yeah, I'll talk about the other lanes first, just because. Okay. Okay. Um, Annie, I think I don't remember if was it Briz that said he was lagging or something, but the Annie did what it had to. He clicked R on top of Yone, on top of people, stunned him. Uh, Briz mains mid lane, so it's not that surprising that he was he had a very good like a good game on mid. Uh, same with Too Easy. He's a good enough player that Gwen and Tavali, I'm I'm pretty sure is Gwen favored. I don't play top lane, but I'd assume it is. Yeah, uh, it is. And Too Easy knows how to play Gwen, so it's like it's like okay, like Masters GM peak. No offense, Brissy. Well, I think you peaked Plat, so it's like in a winning matchup. Like it went how it, how you would expect that matchup to go yes, with yes, the skill different. Like like um, I think. Uh, jungle, I don't remember much of the jungles, to be honest, because it was kind of just like, okay, Andy, Gwen, and then uh, bot lane. Luton and Soap kept winning 2v2s. They were playing extremely well. My issue with Soap's Thresh, is it wasn't bad. I just, and I told them this during this, like, in Trash Talk, I said, please, for the love of God, flay then hook. Like, he was, like, he hit hooks, but there was hooks that he just threw max range, no flay, and it's like, bro, you have flash, you know they have no flash, you could just flash flay and it almost guarantees the hook. That is my only issue with it, is that he threw a lot of prayer hooks, and no offense GPR, Noah, all of you guys, you guys kind of jumped into hooks, like, you guys were catching them. And I, I think I said that during the series. I said, you guys were catching hooks in that game. Like, shout out to Soap. He, he hit the hooks, but I just... And I told him this. He just got a flay hook. It slows them. It gets them closer. It makes it so much easier to hit. But overall... And he did improve. Like, he did start doing that in, game, in the next game. So mm -hmm. that's my only issue with the Thresh. was that there was a couple <laughs> plays that he just kept throwing max range hooks where it's like, just flash flay. Like, that, I just... But no, it was it was pretty good overall. Okay. Okay. Very nice. And lastly, let's go into the game number four, the one that ended it all. CB, honestly? All right, here's my thought on this draft. I think CB lost this draft completely, and it's just because of the Skarner pick. And it's not that Skarner isn't bad. I just think... OT Gator, it just doesn't fit his play style. So when the Skarner came out, I thought, okay, this is weird because I don't know if it's going to go into top lane for mid too easy or or it could be Briz or something like that. But uh, if you told me this was an OT Gator Skarner, I would have never believed you because I just don't think it fits his play style. He needs to play more aggressive type of uh, jungler. And I just think, in my opinion, I think CB really wanted to just lose this game because <laughs> that's insane. That's insane. That listen, <laughs> listen. It, it, you place them all season and then think they just gave up game four. <laughs> I I will say I think they just gave up game four with a Scarner pick. Um, yes. CB definitely had a winning chance if they would just let too easy hit sixteen. Uh, Ryan and PP swap again. Uh, Ryan going to the bot lane, playing the Ziggs. Had a fantastic Ziggs game, by the way. I was not expecting it to just get sweeped. Um, and then PPP also, by the way, had like was only missing like four or five KP from uh, this game. Otherwise, had an incredibly high PP, uh, KP. Uh, and then never saw had Smolder again and. I don't think Never Saw was the reason they won this game, by the way. I think PPP uh, was more of an impact than Never Saw. That's just my, that's just my take on it. Um, before we hear from how Brissy felt after winning this game, let's hear from Venom. 
Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I'll start with the Thresh since I ended it with it last time. Thresh looked way better in this game. Like, as I know they lost the game, uh, but I don't think their bot, obviously, I don't think their bot lane was the reason for them losing this game. Uh, like, they, I think, well, there was a Flay level two, I think they hit level two, f and it was a two or three. Soap walked up, did exactly what I said, he flayed, and then forced a flash, put Ziggs at 100 HP, and it's like, Yes, that like that's like he he did what he was supposed to. Like they played well, but um I think they picked scaling and they lost early. Um Oh yeah, it was just I, I don't remember that much of it. I just know that the Thresh play uh, the Thresh personally I think played better even though they lost. Um they picked scaling, they lost early. That's kind of that's kind of it. Like they lost early in most of the series. So I was surprised that they picked stuff like Kale Asol. Um, but obviously they have they know what they're comfortable with and what they've practiced and what they know, so maybe they had some idea with it, but yeah, they lost early with a scaling comp. And then PPP's J four is really good. I I love how uh C B is coming in and <laughs> yelling at me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, that's because you turned on him. You turned I, on him. I, you gotta I, stay consistent. I, I I have been consistent, all right, the whole season, and then they play this I shit. And now I think you're it's... switching up on them, like fake friends. Listen, listen, I'm just stating that I think they kind of didn't want to play the game four. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that that like I said, that one's a wild one. Saying like they didn't want to so, play it, like so, that, that one's a crazy statement. <laughs> let's uh, let's hear from Brissy here. Oh uh, yeah, this is a fun one. Um, we took took red side, which I think this is our only game red side. Uh, and I th thank thank the Lord we waited to go R five for me. Um, I don't really think we had. This is your first game you win R five? Yeah, yeah. The rest of the time, I mean, we I think it's in crazy. the other games we had we only picked me first phase one time, um, but. I mean, Briz and Mid Too Easy both had counter pick on me for for both uh for both those games, but thank God in this one we waited for R five and without Silas on the table for them to pick up. Um, I mean, me and Never Saw had talked about this even back on GKC when uh, we were playing up against uh, Riven Player Three, who is also a very very um, confident Kale player. We knew the matchup. We like Malphite into Kale. It works. And mm -hmm. um, apart from one blunder that actually ended in a PPP kill, uh, I was able to burn the Kale ult, which is what led to the solo kill on mid too easy in the top lane. Um, and yeah, like like you guys said, <clears throat> we really didn't want to let the Kale get uh, 16, and I think a lot of the map rotations that we had throughout that game had prevented him from getting too much free gold in the top lane and free XP. Like, um, my TP down to bot lane after the Ziggs had died and then led to us just taking tier one tower in the bot lane and then Ryan taking the TP to top lane to, to catch that wave. Um, so we prevented a lot of plates. Uh, even with bounties up, we were able to hold off our tier one towers in every lane for quite a long time. Um, and like never saw said in chat, her, her macro in this game was unbelievable. Uh, so I think there was just a lot of instances that we were preventing them from taking advantage of some of the things that they could have uh, or that they wanted to take advantage of, which mm. led to a lot of uh, early leads in that game and some heavy snowball. Sure. Yeah, and unless you guys have anything else to finish off, uh, what you guys thought on the series? Uh, silenced the doubters. GPR <laughs> champions, uh, zero. You mean GP three, right? GP three yeah, guys. GP three, zero GP3 to hero early. run against all odds. Um, beating out pretty much every top seed out of both pools to go all the way. So we feel good about it. Shout out to Wait, my team. I love so you, you guys. Be, so you beat you beat the gauntlet, and then you beat Dognatos, and then you and beat Cyberbullies, right? Yep. And FA. Yeah, FA, yeah, FA. Wow, FA, crazy. <laughs> FA, took, 
Hey, they, they took him to five. They yeah. took him to five games. I'm pretty sure, didn't they? Yeah. We went five games with the uh, with Peters Anonymous. We went five games with the Gauntlet, and then four games with Dagnatas and Cyberbullies. Well, yeah, and I think with that, I think we got to name an MVP of the series for this one. So, without further ado, drumroll, please. Never saw. Not a big mm-hmm. surprise, I think. Um, it was close. I, mean, I if okay. so, that if this were up to me, and I told X-ray this, if it were up to me, this is a team award, uh, for right. sure. Because I mean, you look at game one, PPP, like I said, played out of his mind on Zaya, and then you look at game four, he played out of his mind on Jarvan. Uh, Ryan could deserve the MP- MVP purely off of his two jungle games in mm-hmm. uh, game one and game two. Uh, Jerboas could get MVP just purely based off of playing well above his rank on support. I, I think Jerboas just gets MVP just because of drawing out Yumi yeah. dance. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then never saw obviously because her performances in pretty much every game were were next level. So I I would say it's a team award. Every single person on on this team. You, you need, you're not even gonna MVP. hype yourself up. I mean, I played well in a couple games, but 50% versus what I would say that most of my team played um, well in 75%, I'm going to give it to them. Yeah, I'll, That's that's a team player right there, guys. Yeah, I kind of want to give my explanation because I also picked... I also told X-Red, uh, I think never saw deserves it. Um, mm-hmm. I think the bigger... Like, yes, every I think everybody individually on that team had a good... Like, good game, pop-off games. Obviously, the Silas for Never Saw. Noah's J4. Noah uh, played well on Zaya. Like, they all had pop-off games, the Nocturnes. But I think it's the consistency that Never Saw played with against mid Too easy as well as Briz the last two games. Um, mid Too easy has been kind of, Like, mid Too easy and Briz have been kind of smashing most, like, solo lanes. And I think just her making it so making Too Easy's life harder, not necessarily like oh she won every single lane like Too Easy fell off, not nothing like that. Where it's like she made it so Too Easy did not come out of lanes too many times with like massive lead, like like it was usually even. Which then Noah Noah Ryan was able to have that because he had prio mid, he had he had a mid that was even so he could make plays. Um, obviously Brissy did the same thing. I, I think that kind of holding the other team's best player is like, a I think kind of like a defensive, like MVP, like a, like a defensive player of the year, defensive player of the series kind of thing mm-hmm. from like an NBA perspective where it's like, she's guarding their best player. Mm-hmm. Well, arguably Briz is Briz and him, but, um, but it's like, she's defending their best player and she's playing well and getting leads in some of the games. So it's like, I think that was more important because if she if she loses to Too Easy, you, no offense, GPR, but you guys are screwed. You're yeah, you're those, screwed. Yeah, those, those if Too Easy if Too Easy starts smashing Never Saw mid lane, like you're losing that 100 percent of the time. Like, <laughs> but I I think I think that's what that's why I personally picked um, Never Saw over let's say Noah uh, or Ryan, who I think were uh, both close second slash third. Yeah, for me, I actually wanted to go PPP, and then I started asking around, and a lot of people were saying never saw. And, like, I understand, like, voting never saw. I mean, you know, she was the carry for the team. Um, but I honestly think Noah had, like, the biggest impact in some of these games, uh, besides, you know, game three and game two, but, like, game one and four, I think, alone. Like, like I said, in game four, he... Only only was missing like five KP. So we had I, I think it was twenty one and he had like seventeen or something like that. So round five, I don't know the exact number off the top of my head. But he he had the majority of the KP and was in part of almost every team fight. Um and no, no I think well. Yeah, I and think. then game one, I mean, I don't have to really say anything because he popped off on the Zaya, so but ultimately, I think Never Saw deserves it. Had a great season. Um, was a big reason for their their winning. And uh, yeah, I think it's time for some paper plate awards. Ooh. Who's ready? Yes. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Oh yeah. Production. Oh, yeah. Production Let's made me go. remember. Brissy, congratulations for being the predictions winner. 
you will be getting a poster of that picture right there, and I will put it. I was the loser, so I will get it, put it in, <laughs> ordered and put in the back. That's I will have a picture of Brissy for next season. So, and who knows? Maybe I'll come back and I'll put a more embarrassing photo of myself uh, on Brissy's wall. We'll see. First, my, first back-to-back goal. predictions winner or what? Uh, yes, sir. No, because I think. Did you win less? Yeah, I, I thought it was Venom. Time. I won last. I, no, I got. Oh no, Ven- that's right. Venom lost. Well, but if we change so, the rules, I think I could win next year. I think okay. we can change them a that's little a, bit. That's a fantastic <laughs> picture, by the way. I, lo- I yeah, love that. Yeah, for that sure. For great sure. picture. Um, and yeah, I think, yeah, with that predictions, thank you, production. I think it's time for some paper plate awards. So if you're in the chat and you, you know, oh, okay, we're just going straight into it. Uh, MVP, not a. I don't think this one's really much of an argument. It's never saw. Um, So I actually got the uh, updated. uh, I got, um, gosh, I'm losing words. Uh, Gamer D has sent me the uh, forum and the results. So I will share that real quick. Never saw a tremendous lead. 19 votes four never saw the second closest was three <laughs> and it was jason okay you gotta put jason like that you gotta do <laughs> my boy like that bro, so bro, bro, like you're second distant damn. Like, yeah very <laughs> distant um but never yeah, saw like... congratulations on being mvp thank you um that's a lot of votes <laughs> that's yeah a lot of votes holy crap um, you, you are you are sixty seven point nine percent of the votes. Damn. <laughs> is that the so only I have for that. Uh, there there were twenty eight responses, so you got well over half. Well, um, I mean, thanks for voting the MVP. This is like. Uh, I I think I talked about it a bit before in the whatever the post game interview thing, but it's not been a consistent thing for me to actually like perform and to not only be performing but also trying to make sure that I'm being like a leader in these games to make sure I'm helping out the team as like you know the responsibility of being the one with the knowledge you got to be able to like give it to people or else it's useless and it's like. Right. Having it all come together just this last like few weeks. I mean, I was our biggest non-believer to begin with, and I'm my own <laughs> biggest non-believer. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, I. You had, like, so, <laughs> like, so, like this whole season. Did you ever think, oh man, we're gonna go to win it all, and uh, like just be a dominant performance like because i know at the start of the season you wanted to play adc and you did so like how was like the start of the season feel to now Mm, i mean the whole way through it was kind of like it it just i mean it started with noah just being like will you what was it again will you throw a fit if i draft you for the team I, i remember that and then like we kind of came together and week one was rough week two was rough and i was just, like i i don't see how we're winning this like i i'm i mean i'm gonna show up i'm gonna play i'm gonna do my best but i'm like this is this is pretty cooked and then like we just kind of spitballed the role swap and then we narrowly won and it was like okay maybe we have something and then I I expected to lose to the gauntlet pretty badly and once we actually got the ball rolling there i was like oh I see. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, Venom, Brissy, any any questions for, for Neversaw? Uh, no questions, but uh, Neversaw had to message her other team. Uh, she sent us the screenshot of what those messages look like, and the chat said, somehow my Summit team managed to make finals. <laughs> <laughs> so she is not lying when she said she was the biggest, or one of the biggest non-believers, but uh, I'm happy that uh, that we were able to prove her wrong and, and go out there and, and do it. So 
And Sweet. I just, I just want to say congrats. I don't have any questions, really. Just she popped off all season. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you never saw congrats once again. And you know what? I think we should take turns. So, Venom, why don't you present the next word? And then we'll go Brissy, and then we'll just okay. do a circle. Well, this is my favorite person ever. This is the Low Elo MVP Award. And everybody in the chat, everybody at Summit, <laughs> knows who this is going to. And it's my pleasure to present this award to Brissy. Oh, All right. Right. Oh, okay, we're gonna see this picture over and over again, aren't we? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Production got him on the screen. Let's go. Oh, nice. Well, uh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, I mean, when I joined Summit, I was a lowly silver four player. Uh, had never really done anything top lane and. I think I've said it before, but if you would have told me that three seasons later that I'd be a finalist, you know, winning winning finals in Summit, I would not have believed you. There's no way. Um, but uh, feels good. Feels good. I think I got this award last year too. Um, back but, to you back? Know, back to, to back? other okay. to other low elo players. Uh, you know, just gotta have the mental for it and put your best foot forward to learn and and talk with you know some of the higher elo players in summit and as long as you're determined you can make it happen it feels feels good nice uh, yeah and actually, uh, do you have the vote numbers i do so uh i'll i'll share brissy all right actually you know what we'll, we'll do a little competition how many votes do you think brissy got out of 28 i think i got 24 of them uh way too high but <laughs> way too high. high hey should be higher honest should be a 28 Brissy, though no, he no got offense. over half the votes or he got half the votes 14 hmm. he got voted 14 times loon in a very close sorry not a very close second uh four votes Bro, why do you gotta do these second place you people? Say, like you gotta that? stop calling out the second place <laughs> players, dude. Bro, it's like, yeah, Brissy got 14 votes and uh, second Kameda place. Commander got two, first. and Strand got two, and Kip Kat got two. Mm. So, bro keeps, bro keeps is like, Brissy got 60%, the other guy got 2%, but like, a bunch listen, of them got Listen, listen, I. Th- Listen, I I think it's nice to see who got votes. You know, I'm just hyping those people who got up. Oh, got like votes. shout out Luton, and then who'd you say got third? Hamea, I think. Hamea, Hamea, Strand, Hamea and Hello? Kip Kat. Well, I Hamea very much Hyman. appreciate the votes from Summit. It's an honor to win the award. I love it. All I right, will keep Brissy. doing my best. All right, Brissy, let's. Why don't you present the next award then? Next award is for the trash talker of the season. Um, now this one actually is, uh, could have been a toss up. Uh, I'm, we'll, we'll go over who the second and third placers for this award is, but, uh, the winner of this award is the man, the myth, the legend OT Gator. (laughs) All right. I like this picture. All right. Uh, Yeah. I, OT Gator, I think like. (laughs) <laughs> it, this is actually a very crazy vote. All right, so there were there were a couple of one votes. Uh, Boy wife, Lord Tubbyton, Gamer D, and Zach all got a vote. I'm surprised Zach did not get more votes. Shout out Tubby getting skinny with it. Uh, two votes going over to Mid Too Easy. Uh, three votes going to Jason and Briz. Yeah, I was I was a Briz voter there. Uh, sitting at mm. second place with five votes That's is so Soap. Bro. Yeah, this like has to be him. And and sitting at eight votes for OT Gator to win it all. Wow, that was actually pretty close. It yeah, this was a very close one. So Jason will be I back mean, next season. He'll take top. Hey, he, he, yeah. he'll he'll come back with trash talk. He was he was too busy enjoying a vacation and being out of town. I think. Uh, I think Zach and Soap, their their uh, trash talk rivalry will be coming in full swing to next season. So <laughs> I'm expecting some big things from them as well. But let's move on to our next award, Best Draft Value. 
Drum roll, please. Luton and Soap, we got a tie on this one. Both had six votes, and there was just a bunch of people voting for uh, pretty much everyone or themselves, basically. Uh, so, yeah, they both had six votes. Why am I on there? Why are you on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you said Soap, didn't you? Oh, sorry, Brissy and Loon. Oh, <laughs> Come on, don't do that to Brissy. That's crazy. Listen, I, I got soap oh. on my mind now all of a sudden. That's disrespectful. So, no offense to soap, but I Brissy's mean, a goat. Listen, I actually really like... Um, I think Brissy definitely deserves this one. But Loon, I actually am very um, impressed with how he's kind of played this season. Because I'm pretty sure... If, you know, when you look at his OP.GG, this guy is like a gold player. And so you don't think he's going to play good against a lot of these better bot lanes. And he was showing up and like winning a lot of these fights. So, and his positioning was good and he constantly kept improving from week to week. So I think this is well deserved for the side of Loon. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think, I think Gluten should have just had the award. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I may have been tied in votes, but but yeah, no, he he killed it. I think him being on Cyberbullies really allowed uh, Mid Too Easy and Briz to take a lot of worry off of their bot lane. Hmm. Um, yeah, the guy played great. And um, there were two votes for Vossler and Ot Gator, and then there was just a bunch of people who got voted for one. Uh, notable ones is uh, Kip Cat. I think um, for the for a tier five player, even though he was a drafter, for a tier five player, he was playing exceptionally well against all tier ones in his just his uh group. So I will say I, shout out to him. Yeah, Loon played great. Honestly, well deserved uh, being tied with Brissy for this. He played out of his mind all season. All right, and uh, next award, Mr. Venom. I think this person's currently in a duo queue, so I don't think we can pull him in. But this is the f most fun to watch. He dazzled us with his LeBlanc and made people cry with his Alistair. <laughs> the winner is Array. Like I said, I think he's duoing right now, so I don't think we can pull him in. But... Shout out to Ray. He, he was so he was fun to watch all season. Uh, him and Asteria, I would say it was, they both played very aggressive, very fun lanes. Um, so shout out them. Well deserved. Uh, I don't know who the other people were, but he he popped off. His LeBlanc mm -hmm. was scary. I forgot. Yeah, he probably he, played some uh, other wild picks before the before the season started. I mean, he he told everybody he's like, "Yep, I'm playing support, and I'm gonna kick everyone's ass." And Week one happened, and we were like, yeah, no, that's not happening. And then the rest of the season happened, and uh, yeah, I mean, he put on a show. Uh, plenty of highlight plays that we could go back and watch, uh, including one uh, from his Poppy and quite a few from his Alistar. He, that was a Poppy was the other one. He played. Yeah, the, I was like, that Poppy play was crazy. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's good for him. Deserved. <laughs> Yeah, and looking at the numbers, so starting off with people who got one vote, uh, Brissy, Nightmare, Gamer D, and Sprinkler. People who got two votes, um, Boy Wife or Psy, PPP, Pyrosis, and Jason, Nico, and Briz. Finally, Never Saw with three votes, and Array coming at a total of eight votes. So, not bad. Not bad. Mm-hmm. All right, Brissy, your turn. All right, well, this should come as a shock to absolutely nobody. Well, um, we're going to go with... Well, the... <laughs> well yeah, sorry. <laughs> a shock, not a shock to most, but uh, we're going to be handing out the Content King Award now, and uh, Yay! we're going to go ahead and give that over to our boy X-Ray, the Content King. Oh! All right, so thank you guys. Appreciate you all. Um, like I said, every season I've gotten this. I mean, this is, what, the third season we're doing this, and I've gotten it every time. Um, but I want to give a big shout-out once again to these two gentlemen joining me, uh, Noah, um, everyone else in the content team, Array. Um, uh, I mean, Noah helping me out as well, um, you know, 
got to also shout out, um, gosh, what's his name? Baratel, brain farting over here. So, and I honestly just like, I want to be able to do this without you guys, um, all of you viewers and uh, people who actually like want content. So I'm really happy to do it and I'm having a good time and hopefully we can keep going for at least three more seasons, at least hopefully. Why only three? What are you going to uh, do? I'm going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> but going over the rest of them, uh, a you bunch don't of people have got... to say, You don't have to say the rest. Uh, I don't want... I, the gap is probably too big for my ego. Uh, actually, it's not that bad, actually. Uh, oh, okay. A bunch of one boats. Uh, Gar voted for, probably voted for himself. PPP, Array, Soap, and Too Easy. Uh... Three votes, Patrick. It's, wait, soap. What? <laughs> I I mean, I could see why someone would throw a vote at soap. I mean, that you could you could go so into bold. general. You could go in general and make an hour content video on just his messages. He um, yapped so much he got votes for content. That's he probably voted respect. for himself. Let's be honest. If he, he didn't probably vote voted for himself, himself that he is respect. Did. Typing so much that you get on the like you get votes for content. Oh, oh too, too easy, easy was the soap <laughs> voter. That's so good. Congrats, All right. soap. I, how much did you have? X-ray. Sorry. Uh, that, you got you got three. Venom got three. Jason four. Bertel with a five, and I got nine. So four votes. Four votes nice. is not is pretty close. Man, we got some haters. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm getting pinged in trash talk. <laughs> I voted Bertel. All right. Good to know. So Jason, moving Jason on, uh, most cringe champion pool, and that is going to never saw once again. Two awards, um, and we're gonna bring her in. Oh, yeah, we're, we're not, not bringing her in. I' just lying to you guys straight to your face. Um, yeah, I mean scaling champions, just really annoying to deal with. Smolder alone, I think, just. Deser if you play Smolder, you deserve to be on this list. IMO. Yeah, I would uh, agree. Pretty cringe champ pool. Bunch of one votes, uh, two votes for Sprinkler and PPP. And then tied for second is Vossler and Array for the Yumi and LeBlanc players. And then never saw at eight votes. So, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, Venom, let's hear it. Well, <laughs> my favorite award is really I am I'm a part. I'm a part of this group. This is the one trick award, and it is going to the Yumi player himself, Vossler, <laughs> winning the one trick award. I, I, I don't have any words. Yumi, that's all I got. Yep. Dan uh, Smith. I, Dan Smith with a very well deserved award. <laughs> Um, people with two votes. So uh, once again, bunch of one votes. Uh, two votes: Loco Poco, Nico, Too Easy, and Soap. Uh, and... Loco Poco's canon is, is definitely deserving of a of a vote. There it might. I mean, I don't know if it's actually for the canon, but yeah. I don't. I don't know why Never Saw is on here, but Never Saw with three votes actually taking second, uh, and Bossler sitting at six. Nice Just for her smolder, maybe, but I don't know. Congrats and the then it's the all-star vote, but we're going to skip that. Bunch of different votes, actually. But uh, I think next is uh, Brissy. I'm actually not. I'm going to I'm going to skip oh. this one. I'm going to skip this one because I'm not going to. We'll, we'll just we'll go back or, to it. But I definitely want to read the next one. This, this I, want, I want this next one here. Oh, he wants to read the next one. OK, we'll come back uh, to that. So this next award is for oh okay well most improved everybody sees it uh, yeah well we'll, we'll come just, back we'll come back to it we'll come back to it <laughs> we don't really need to jump into this too much uh, but yeah most likely to flame the opponent it's going to soap dude deserved. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> deserved deserved very all deserved. right all right all right soap Yo. let's hear the speech so um. I mean, I made someone leave the server and no show a game without telling their team. <laughs> I'm really sad that I didn't get to keep trash talking them. I think I'd get in trouble. Everyone knows who that is. And also, 
Yeah, I think I think trash talk is a role you should either have or not have. Hypothetically speaking, I mean, it probably won't happen. But if I was getting shit on all season, I'd keep the trash talk role. I wouldn't only put it on when I'm winning. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, Soap. Respect it. So, we're yeah. Keeping, we're Deserved of the out. award. Con- congrats, Soap. Congrats, Soap. <laughs> um, I tried my hardest. <laughs> so... This one, though, incredibly close vote. Two votes for Kip Kat and Jason. Kip Kat didn't even know. Uh, <laughs> four votes for Briz. Uh, OT Gator and Too Easy with five. And six. Nope. Yo, most like they're playing teammates. It's, hold, on, hold on. It's so. Wait, we're not even. 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 We're back in Flame Opponent. I have yeah, I have something to say about the flaming opponent one. Uh, it's it's hilarious that all of the people on Soap's team got votes, most likely for flaming soap. Wait, Loon is the only one that's not on the team. Wait, I just realized that. <laughs> it was most likely to flame soap who actually won the award. So I just I thought that was I thought that was funny. All right. Uh, okay, now we'll do most likely to flame teammate, and then we'll go back to most improved because I want to give that back to to Brissy. So, uh, Venom, why don't you present this award oh, that we... Hey, this is my goat. He voted for me for content. Everybody loves him, except some people. We're not going to name names. Most likely to flame teammates goes to, as it's on the screen, Asian Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jason. I, know, I saw this, I was like, no fucking way I got voted for this. But then I stopped and I thought about it and I was like, you know what? Actually, that's pretty accurate. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but I, I just want to say the flame teammates back me up. Eighty percent of them will. That it is framed as flame. It might seem like flame, but I promise you, it's constructive and it's really yeah. for the better good of everything. But that now, yep. you know, one in five teammates might seem to disagree, possibly. But I think eighty percent is still good odds. So I'll take that. Hey, yeah. constructive flame is not bad. All right. I wouldn't even personally. I wouldn't even call it flame, but you know, it is what it is. Hey. Hey, I you know what? I respect it. I respect it, Jason. That was loco. Uh, yep. That's my boy. Yep. R- respect to it. Uh yeah, this one was not close, I'll be honest. Uh Jason. Jason with 13 votes. The second place was five with OT Gator. Third is mid too easy with four. Uh Peach T Princess got two votes. So yeah. So I'm saying. Uh Let's and then that. My hot daddy and Nico and Briz with one vote. So crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but congrats once again to Jason. Thank you, thank you. And I do want to go back to the most improved. Um, and t- we already know who is going to be. It's going to be the boy Brissy. Thank you. Let's go, Brissy. Uh, appreciate that. I uh, put a lot of work in. I mean, I would say most of the work I put in was more toward the end of the season, just prepping for playoffs as well as finals. But like well, I said, go ahead. You you, t- you told us, uh, and you even said it in the questionnaires, like, like, bef- like, bef- for finals alone, you had like, what, three coaches or something like that. You had Owen, you had, uh, yeah, uh, I had, I had sat down with Owen, David, Nico, yeah, you just took down with a bunch of people. Um, yeah, so I did the I did do my due diligence in uh prepping and making sure that my team, you know, didn't have to worry too much about the top lane and uh it worked out in our favor. Yeah, Brissy, you're sitting at a solid twelve votes. Wow. Uh, oh, second right. place is two votes. So a very well deserved one. Uh PPP oh, and uh Loco Poco taking two votes. And then a bunch of people voted uh, for themselves or what. Uh, there's a never saw apparently, um, <laughs> but That's I fun. think it's uh, well. You know what? We're just gonna say it's Brissy's turn because I don't know where we're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just we'll we'll go back around. Okay, so we are now at we're at per- personality hire. Personality hire. Okay, so there are looks like five people in this. Uh category so i'm just gonna name them off uh we got strand uh gamer d soap bossler 
and myself. All uh all winners of the personality hire. Good vibes. Good vibes. Let's go. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it's deserved all of them. They're all great. Hmm, there's some interesting one votes. Uh uh interesting one votes. Uh OT Gator. Uh David, which I like that one. Tubby's Dude, on there. Disrespectful voting David when he had that team. No, uh, Guanabon also crazy. got a vote. Uh, two votes: PPP, uh, Mathith, Penith, and Nico, and then everyone else uh, tied for first. And yeah, I, I would agree with most of these. Uh, I actually really like Strand on this one. I think Strand is such a vibe on the team, even though he doesn't talk a whole lot. Big um, agree. Yeah, absolutely. But. He he's a vibe. So, uh, wanna, I'm gonna. I want to oh. shout out Gamer D and Brissy. I've played on teams with both of them. Uh, the the hey, day one summit season one. Shout out Gamer D. The devs. We tried our best. Four point three point one point one. And then Brissy. We tried our best on DPT. But both great people to have on teams. Are just great people to hang out with. Love you. Thank you. For respect. Respect. So, moving on to our next awards is Uppercut, low elo players that punched up the best. Oh, can we skip this? I'm tired of the glaze. I'm done. <laughs> All right, it's going to be Prissy. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to talk about uh, it anymore. Uh, <laughs> Prissy is goaded. Um, oh, my God, votes. he's so I, good. He's I'm going to – I'm I, I, I almost just want to, like, deny this award. I feel like there were plenty of other uh, – I mean – they don't have, obviously don't have to be gold players, but definitely people in the low emerald high plat area that had outperformed me against higher elo players, uh, like right. uh, I'd say like Kid, Kid Cat. Cat, Kid Cat for sure. That's what I was gonna say. If I um, would, if I'd have to give someone else this word, I'd definitely give it to Kid Cat after yeah. his performances. Kid Cat, I, I don't actually know what Luton's rank is, um, but I think uh, I this... think he's only like plat. Yeah, if comparative that, yeah. comparative to a lot of summit, I would absolutely put Luton up there. I just I think that there were definitely better options, but again, I love summit. Thank you all for this uh, I, this word. I want to say one vote that I'm very surprised of. PPP got three votes on this. Hey, I'm put, not some quite sure hey, put some respect on PPP. PPP is not man. low elo. Uh, lower <laughs> than Jason and OT Gator that he played against, <laughs> like. Oh, hey, put okay. some respect. Not... Hey, put some respect on my boy. Hey, come on, gotta glaze him a little. He, hey, they won the finals, but no, hey, I, okay. he All played right. well against. Right. He played well against higher elo jungles. He's All not right. low elo right. though. My bad. My bad. All right, and Venom. Let's hear the next award. <laughs> low. Okay. Okay. So there's uppercut. Now there's low blow. Um, low blow as no surprise to anybody. She also won MVP. Uh, the low blow winner is never saw for absolutely crushing the hopes and dreams of low elo players. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, shout out never saw her smolder popped off. Um, she obviously played well against people around her rank as well, but she excelled at getting leads against lower elo players when she played mid specifically. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, well deserved. Um, I think Jason. I don't know the, how the votes went, but I feel like. Yeah, uh, Jason, mid too easy, Briz are probably. Yep. Yeah, I'm those pretty, those I'm are the, sure my the next, the next three. It's it's never saw at nine, mid too easy at six, A's and Jason at four, and then Briz is sitting at two, and then there are a couple ones. But otherwise, yeah, I think I, I think, think all how... four of them could have earned it. Like they all played yeah. extremely well against people that they were supposed to beat, and they beat them like they were supposed. To. Yep, for sure. All right, Brissy, let's uh, let's ooh. Yeah, let's so, see the next word. This is for the best support for Summit Season 4, and that award is going to go to Psy. Yeah, I, not a very big surprise. I mean, highest rank uh, support. It was a little surprise for me. Excuse me. Ooh, I think okay. I think it was very close between Psy and Array. Uh, it, I just want to say, Psy didn't have the greatest season. They played wanna, extremely well. You want to know how close it was? was? I, I hope it's within one or two votes because Array it's, deserves. It's one win. vote. Yeah. It's okay. one vote. Oh. Okay, I was Ar like Array deserves to be within that yeah. like one vote. Yeah, if he Array. Win. So, Psy got twelve votes. Array got eleven. Vosser got three. 
Very respectable. <laughs> uh, and then Fleas with a random one. Shout out Fleas. Shout out Fleas. Let's go. Getting that vote. I respect it. And honestly, I think she played really well with uh, Borla. I think it was just Fun. unfortunate. Yeah. Fortunate I think series. This- I think this one was very close. We'll never know how good ship without a captain would have been in playoffs, unfortunately. (laughs) Never would have known. I I think this was very close, but Psy played very well. Oh, for sure. Yep. Moving on to the best ADC, or best bot, is going to be Nico. Yeah, Nico. Nico. Not a very big surprise either. Um, Also, very close vote with um, Asteria. By two votes. Deserved. Asteria fucking rocked it this season. I think, yeah, Asteria played extremely well. Um, you know, coming back, you know, he did take that season break. And coming back, and with Array, like I said, uh, the... Um, gosh, what's what was their team? I oh, Asteria's Kins. Asteria's Kins bot lane, both in the second place, unfortunately. But I'm pretty... I, I'm well... I think it's well-deserved, though. Nico playing extremely well this season. Uh, Nico sitting at 10 votes. Asteria sitting at 8. Luton and Borla sitting at 3. And then a couple 1s. PPP got on there. Good job, PPP. And. <clears throat> oh. Pff. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we could just you know do what? this one quickly. She's. Yes, yeah. yep. Just zip yeah, through yeah. it. Uh, uh, it, yeah, it never saw it, okay. got best mid. It is not even close. Twenty four votes. Mid too easy got two, and Sparks got one. Hey, shout out Sparks! Let's go, Sparks. Sparks got one. Let's yeah, twenty four votes out of twenty eight. That's crazy. I'm surprised. I didn't realize too, I'm surprised too easy didn't get more votes. I think it was just because of finals alone. Honestly, like that. And listen, too easy. You're gonna flame me later, but your finals performance was not very good. Just saying, just saying. The anti glaze is here, so. <laughs> hey, uh, fake, fr- hey, fake friends. Too easy. That's all I'm hearing from extra. No, 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 no. Two faces. All right, Venom. Why don't you present the next award? Uh, this is uh probably the goat jungler this season. Uh, at least regular season wise, uh, playoffs. He was coming back from vacation. Uh, he popped off all season. Uh, best jungler award goes to Asian Jason. Yeah, well deserved. Well deserved. Well deserved. He popped off all regular season and yep. Um, like he, he typed it in chat. I think that guy's KDA throughout the regular season was like thirty. Uh, <laughs> guy wow. probably, the, the guy probably died less times than they had games. Throughout the regular season, X Ray has first hand knowledge for this too, because he had to play uh, no, a series against Jason. And that Jason, was playoffs, not regular season. Though. Sorry, that was pl- sorry. He had to experience that in the playoffs, so you, first hand you could definitely attest yeah. to his it's skills. Just, Brissy, Brissy avenged me. All right, that's all. <laughs> yeah, he had. He just had an all just such a dominant season. It's it's crazy. He deserves it. He is. He was yep. by far the best jungler in Summit. Yep, Jason with um, twelve votes. Nightmare at five. Ryan at four. So I mean, Nightmare and Ryan definitely deserve votes as yep. well. So I definitely yep. respect that. PPP, PPP is sitting at fourth, <laughs> third. Uh, PPP's J four and... deserves votes. <laughs> very true. Very true. Uh, and Brissy, why don't you present the best top laner? So, best top laner award is actually a two-way tie between uh, one of the people I voted for and another person who I also think is very deserving, uh, and it's going to be Briz and Sprinkler. I oh. love the term Briz, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty oh. sure that's Briz. <laughs> Damn, br- that's Briz? Damn, he's looking yeah, good. Briz. What the hell? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, epic, okay. epic. Uh, Briz yeah. played well uh, all season. He was, yeah, like I mean, I know Sprinkler, he was off role. I think was the highest rank, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Sprinkler was like he was like pick number one or two. He was GM, I think. But Briz, the competitive experience, one of the best RuneScape players, jacked, <laughs> jacked as hell. As you can see, hot as hell. Well deserved top line. 
if, if you guys want to go see it, watch like I think it's episode eight or an episode nine of the of the climb this season. He, you, you'll get to see him. He's uh he's a handsome fella. Mm-hmm. Yes, he is. Uh, yeah, and not super close. Briz and Sprinkler taking nine votes, and Brissy, you got three votes. I got three votes. Jesus Christ! Yeah, wow. you're second. That, that, no offense, <laughs> Brissy. That glaze is crazy. Yeah, yeah that, I know. That's, that's, what, I'm, crazy, that's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I'm pretty sure all the other top laners voted for themselves because there's a bunch of ones for random players. And yeah, moving on to rookie of the season. We just started glazing them, and we're gonna glaze them some more, Mr. Briz. Go. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Bring on Ricky I season. think it's. I honestly think it's kind of close. Actually, I thought uh, Briz, uh, boy wife, could have gone at Sprinkler. Um, I'm trying to think of like anyone else. I think Borla also had a good season. Just, um, just not like. I think Borla's team, ship without a captain, I think just had different goals. I think yeah, like their this. their team didn't get enough uh, as much attention as they deserved. Um, mm-hmm. I think that was just because they didn't really get streamed on the main channel too often, if at all. I can't remember if they had gotten a a summit stream, uh, and then the whole issue with playoff scheduling. I think that a lot of people just didn't get to see how that team per- had performed. Um, yeah, but yeah, Borla, Borla for sure <clears throat> deserves votes. And I think uh, another one to note is Kip Cap again, like like we said a couple times. Um, short, unfortunately, missing a lot of the marks. Um, but I think Kip Cat had a terrific season one with how mm-hmm. his gameplay, it, uh, how his gameplay was. Agreed. Briz, though, sorry, go ahead. You have anything else? Nope. All right. Yeah, Briz sitting at eight votes. Kip Cat and or sorry, uh, Hamea sitting at four votes. And Loon also sitting at four votes. Kip Kat sitting at two. And Borla sitting at two. And Sprinkler also sitting at two. So all people we've mentioned besides Hamea. Okay. I'd like to do this next award if I can. Actually. Do it. I, I do don't it. know who's or. Yeah, it's you, this, your turn. Hey, this is my one of my favorite awards. Oh my it's God. named after. Okay, X-Ray, calm down there. You got to glaze people. Let me glaze my X team. Like, yeah, give me no, a sec. sorry, sorry. I'm I'm being. A, me... I was a dick there. I was a dick there. My bad. So this award is named after one of the best vibe teams. Uh, this team included myself, Gamer Destroyer, Loggers, Pipe Eye, David. Uh, very fun team to be on this is the power of friendship award uh in this with my my greatest pleasure to announce it that gaking private ryan has won the award yeah <laughs> there's a hey, there's me and my fucking this is, my by the way this is close picture. this is a close vote there's three teams that could have won this um yeah. Who are the other oh, two? Of course, Genki Private Ryan got nine. Sorry, I had a hiccup there. Oh, uh, like... Conflict of interest and Asterius can sitting at eight votes. So it was, a, it was they won by one vote. Yeah. It's, yeah. Coi, I think was I that my thought was that I'm pretty sure I voted Coi for this award, but uh... I also voted Coi. I mean, you have three uh, co-owners on the same team, yeah. and. Tubby and Pai Pai are just really good vibes, and so they're pretty friendly with anyone. Mm-hmm. So I honestly thought they were better. Uh, and then Asterius Kins, I'm not very surprised either. I mean, Sparks and Asteria are good friends. Array kind of <laughs> just also is a is a vibe. He said not code cryptid. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Ten teams could not have won it. I'm sorry. That, that, actually, probably two teams. There's probably eight teams uh, that could have won it. I don't think FA could have won it either. No offense. Like, yeah. And then there were there were three one votes. Do we have any guesses? Any guesses? Three. Uh, uh, probably one. Uh, probably like um, not CB. Um, oh, maybe CB or Dog probably got decent votes. CB and Dog got one vote. Do we have a guess on the last one? Uh, ship, the with, ship without a captain? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Sheep no. without a captain got the votes. If Code Cryptid got it, I would have... If someone voted Code Cryptid, I would have 
been I very just think, I just don't think they really talk to each other. Same with like oh, F.A. There's they definitely not, like, not. I, I, like, I don't know anything about their inner dynamics. I just, know, from knowing David, I don't think F.A. ever talk to each other outside of games. So it'd be hard to be f- power of friendship when you don't talk to them. Right. Like, all right, all right. No hate to them. Brissy, let me let me do this next word, please. Yeah, all you, buddy. All right. Oh. This is the team I've been glazing all season for the power of incredible violence. Team I've been glazing this whole season. Cyberbullies taking the undisputed victory. 70% of the votes, by the way. 19 second place, ganking Private Ryan. I don't know how they got power really? of friendship and of incredible violence. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But I think well deserved. I mean, yeah. was was the top dog for all season and then Ganky Private Ryan showing them up. It's like, hey, you guys aren't aren't that good. I heard Brissy yeah. say that by the way. Well say that about Cyberbullies? Yeah. You'll have to you'll have to send me the audio clip of that. I, don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't record it. <clears throat> All right, Brizzy, why don't you present this next award? All right, next award. Now, I think this is probably the most deserved award out of everything. Uh, holds a dear place in my heart from here on out. Ever since he bought me a six pack of Kona Big Wave at the Summit Meetup, <laughs> Captain of the Season. Is PPP? Oh, hello, that's All me. Right. That's that's this guy. That's the guy who's streaming. Yep. Let's go, PPP. Give a big round of applause <laughs> for this guy. The, slide, Thanks, the slideshow loser who reveals the slides too early. It's, it's, <laughs> I, it's, it's about right. me. I was like, don't call me out for slideshow. Yeah, you're a slideshow. <laughs> you're a slideshow loser too, Patrick. No, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's that. We're in the I mind. Hey, we're guy. in the mind. We're in the. Oh. You're sending it to the wrong bank account, then I haven't got Yeah, check. Well, I, check I got PayPal three Patrick. votes for the content, King, and I make those slides. No, I'm just kidding. But uh shout out PPP. I think he deserved it. Like for like as much as people like clowning on him for past seasons of like captaining teams, like he he like he went into this draft with a plan and the plan worked. They played really well, they got better over the season. I think it was well deserved captain of the season. Oh, hold on, I gotta add an image to the OBS real quick. Oh, he he's adding an image. All right, there uh, we go. <laughs> All right, yeah. Please. Uh, oh wait, what was the other team you were on? Uh, oh no, you weren't on that team. It was Ryan's team. That's right. I was thinking of uh, Obsidian Obelisk. Obelisk I think that's what it was. Okay, that's we don't gotta roast Ryan on that. Sorry, I, I thought I thought. No, he, he was, was on, on Monster, the team. He was on Monsters Inc. with Paul. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yep. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Peas. I mean, but I mean, from Pokemon Please to winning a summon season, how does it feel? Uh, feels uh, feels great. Obviously, uh, I learned a lot from that season, and uh, I've just strived to continue to improve and uh, be a better captain, be a better manager, and uh, just be a bit better player in general. For sure. Uh, do I get do I get to do the last award? Y- you know what? Go ahead. Okay. Hey, oh, wait, hang on. Eight. Oh, okay. Hang on. Sorry, let me let me do the percentages real quick. Uh PPP with eleven votes, too easy with eight votes, and fleas and sparks with three votes, even though fleas didn't draft. Well Paul draft, but she became kind of, but yeah, no. Uh shout out to mid too easy. I think he I think um, he captained that team very well, very helpful from what I've heard yep. uh, with Wooten, so helping and being there to, uh, you know, help them get better. So shout out, well-deserved second place on this. All right, wrap us up, Mr. Venom. Okay, Glaze is not over. You know, this draft took down the most glazed team of the season by my fellow co-host here. <laughs> Thanks. Um, they got better over the season. Uh, he picked players that that worked together well, as well as were flexible. The winner of the best draft award is none other than PPP. Now yep. I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put my two cents in here. I All don't right. I don't agree with PPP winning this award. Whoa! Um, not right. I mean I think I think even our team after draft like. 
if if you're thinking about best draft, you're thinking about okay, you got the you know top tier of every like every player that you drafted is you know is capable of playing. And I'm not and again, I'm not saying that our team wasn't capable of playing well above our our skill level, but uh, I think mid too easy was deserving of this award just because he was able to grab Briz. It just, I mean, I think that pick alone is insane. The fact that he was able to lock down Briz as a top laner and those two being like the best dynamic duo in all of Summit for like the entirety of the season. Um, but uh, sh- I mean, shout out PPP. He sent his pre draft ideas to all of us on the team. He knew exactly what he did want when he drafted. And it, I mean, it just turned out that we had. Uh, Turned it up a level once we hit playoffs and ended up ended up winning. And I think I, I, I can't oh, remember sorry. who said it, uh, whether it was you, Noah, or uh, Brissy, but he, or I can't remember who said it to me, but they were like, "Yeah, Noah got every single person he wanted." Yeah, so, he, did. he did. So yeah, I do want to say that um, I do agree that Mid Tweezy's draft was very good, but I think also the drafting players that are willing to like put in the work both as i don't know i don't think he has practiced that much at least from what ryan was saying but uh put kind of being able to grow and improve as the season goes on i think is something that you know you could draft the best players right like but if they're not willing to if they don't mesh if they don't put in the work if they don't like get better as a team like um i think it's like is it's not as good of a draft i think cb did all those things as well they improved they got better but um, I just, I don't want to glaze your team too much, Brissy, but I, I think I think <laughs> part of the draft of drafting people that are like able to work, like good attitude, show up, play, willing to do what it takes to win, I think is a very important um, yeah quality in a draft. And Indeed. I don't know, and I think I don't know if Noah did that on purpose or just had people that he was like these people are good as well as I vibe with them. So yeah, for sure. sure. Yeah. And just giving the stats real quick, PPP with 12 votes, and like we've said, mid too easy with the uh, actually sitting at second with 10 votes. So it was a two vote. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I like I said, I, I'm pretty sure my vote went to too easy. Uh, I mean, I went through my explanation, and Soap still didn't like it. He's still trash talking uh, the draft <laughs> that PPP put together, even though uh, you guys lost. So. No, but, they the regular, but they were the regular season, though. They were yeah, the regular yeah, season. Yeah, they were <laughs> undefeated in the regular season. All good. Shout out Luton, Mid Too Easy, Briz, and Gator. Love you guys. <laughs> Soap, continue to cope in general. <laughs> right, right. And yeah, with that, gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this episode of The Climb and the Paper Plate Awards. So, any final words for. Uh, for the viewers uh because we won't be seeing you guys again until season five uh, do we are we announcing all-stars array is as i don't know if we have the all-star uh, or if that's i, I guess day. i oh i closed it so no uh okay. oh wait I, did are is it on here no it's not if it's uh I'm, I'm assuming array that that will be announced at a different time like uh I'm sure here like i'll Colin do will announce hang on i'll open it up real quick i because i don't know who who all won it off the top of my head? Uh, I can definitely tell you, Mid Too Easy got a lot of votes. That's so good. <laughs> like that's crazy. I know I'm giving you crap for glazing, but that's a crazy one out of ten players to only mention Too Easy. Uh, so I think Never Saw Never Saw got the most votes. <laughs> Never Saw got the most votes with twenty six. Mid Too Easy with twenty five. Jason with 23, 19 uh, with Psy, uh, a couple 18s, Nico and Array. I don't know how many that is. I hope you're keeping count. Uh, Ryan with 16, Briz with 15, uh, two 13s, it looks like. Yeah, two 13s with Asteria and Nightmare. That's all I'll do. So I don't know how many that was, but uh, congratulations, you made All-Stars. I don't know if there's going to be a game or not, but you were voted as well-liked players. Good for you. (laughs) But 
with that, I think that is a great place like, to end. I would. Are we doing closing statements here? I'd like to Cl- closing statements. All right, Venom. Let's hear your closing yeah. statements. Uh, I would like to say it was a very fun season, and I appreciate all of the players that put in the time. Uh, that people who agree to show up on content with, um, like on the climb, uh, or take part or watch any of the content we produced. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, and yeah. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Hopefully everyone comes around for next season. Yeah. And we'll continue to pump out content and have a good time. Sure. Brissy, any any closing statements? Uh, I love Summit. Love everybody in Summit. Um, I, as much as I appreciate the appreciation to me as a person and a player, uh, let's just, like, tone the glaze down to, like, 50%. <laughs> <laughs> only right. two awards so, next season. Yeah, not five. Only, yeah. Wait, you got you got five awards? Uh, I think, I think something like that. Um right. too easy said By I'm the... staying too easy said I'm staying low elo so I can farm low elo MVP awards. Uh I hope that is not the case next season. <laughs> Yo, um, I, I, I called it by the way. I I think I what did I say? I think I said Brissy is winning uh, I can't remember what I said. I think it was seven awards. One five, yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, no, five awards. So <laughs> something like that. But yeah, I said, Brissy, I think you're going to win like five awards. That's what I said. So yeah. I um, predicted it. But yeah, I, I, again, love being on the content team. Appreciate mm-hmm. everybody who watches our content. We enjoy doing it. Uh, we will continue to put out the... Uh, the good stuff for Summit that makes Summit fun. Yeah, and just I'll, I guess I got to do closing statements now. Um, first off, I want to give a big shout out though to uh, Noah and all of the stream team for streaming most of the games. Uh, I know not every single game got streamed. Um, everyone who streamed their point of view, because if we don't have those streams, we can't talk really go in depth with all of your games. So thank you all for whoever streamed their games or. Uh, Noah, Luden, Soap, uh, or sorry, I don't think Soap did. Um, you know, everyone who streamed a game. How about that? Because um, I most likely watched it and took notes on it. So thank you all. Um, yeah, and with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned. Next episode, or not next episode, next season, we'll be bringing out some new content. We got some new content in the mix or, or in the work right now. So stay tuned. So. Yeah, thank you all for watching. We'll catch you next season, just a month away.